Goals never come easy. No one gives you goals. Before my mother died, she told me not to leave Chelsea. I think as far as kids go, you just have to work hard. Work on your skills, keep focused. I think about all my successes and failures and sometimes the failures stick in your head as much as the wins. But you do move on. Every season will have its dips and hard moments, and the challenge then is to make sure you don't get too down in those moments and make sure you come back fighting. If I lose the ball, I lose it trying to do the right thing. That's the way it is. I am a man who likes to play consistently. I always play better when I'm on a run of games. When you take a lot of stick you want to ram it down people's throats. I have never seen a player as driven and determined as me, quietly determined, that's why I always want to do the best, I'm like everyone else, I want to play every game, but it's not possible, when you see young players coming into the squad and pushing you, no matter what age you are, you have to react. You have to worry about yourself and perform as well as you can. If you end up looking around at others, wondering who's performing better, you take your eye off the ball. Nobody expects a footballer to have any kind of an IQ, which is a bit of an unfair stereotype. I'm not the kind of player to see out my time and sit with my bum on the bench too much. I want to be involved. That's my character. There is such a belief in the squad that we could really do something. For present buying, I go to Harrods because there are great personal shoppers, who point me in the right direction. In international football, you need pace and you need your players up top to create things out of nothing and run at people. My dad shaped the footballing side of me, and mum shaped me as a person. I've always been very close to her, we've only ever had one argument, and that was over something stupid when I was. A lot of things happened when I left there, and to be fair they treated me really bad, and now I have to play against them so I don't have any feelings for them at all. I'm a very private person. And you have a lot of people looking into your personal life, away from football. That's the one thing that I don't like, but I always remember how lucky we are that we're playing football.